in this in this simple in these five slides, I'm going to be explaining to you why do you need to plant coconut? Why do you actually need to plant coconut? You've been hearing plant coconut, plant this, plant coconut, plant coconut. Why actually do you need to plant coconut? The number one reason you need to plant coconut is the demand is high. The demand is high. You know, on unlike before, when people when uh, industrial when coconut doesn't have much of industrial use then the demand was a bit low. But now, the water, coconut water is an energy source. Coconut, uh, coconut water is an energy source. Coconut uh, flesh is used for flour and every other thing. Coconut, you know, so the demand for coconut itself, coconut oil is used in the production, is used in the production of sugar. Why the coconut shell, the bark, it's used in the production of match, rope, is used, in, and the tree itself, the plant, the trees itself, when it's big and everything, is used in producing is used in producing rods that used in building houses and every other thing. So the demand for coconut is huge. The market for coconut is huge. And that's why everybody will keep saying, plant coconut, plant coconut. The demand is there. It's not something you start looking for market. And then market access, like you said, it's just like the demand. You don't need to start running around and say, where will I sell my coconut? No, it's easier to sell together when you have plenty, when you're in groups, you can negotiate with companies, you can negotiate with processors. You can even look at people that will come and install the processing machine close to, your, close to you or to your group and everything. So the demand for coconut is much. And that's why we keep saying, Plant coconut, plant coconut. Now, Nigeria, do you believe Nigeria imports oil, coconut oil alone? Coconut oil is just one part of the coconut, just one part. Nigeria imports almost, uh, imports one, uh, Nigeria imports $241,000 $241, in coconut oil alone. This is not talking about coconut itself. We spend some billions importing coconut, another billions importing coconut oil, another billions importing uh, coconut, uh, coconut water, and all these things. So Nigeria spend a lot in importing coconut and its uh, uh, and its value additions, and that is the reason you need to join the group in planting coconut so that you tap into those resources. Plus, there's export market for coconut. Now, let me give you just this just breakdown. An acre, an acre of coconut. Fruit, if you plant one acre, you actually you have hundred fruits or one hundred and eight fruits. But I limit it. Hundred fruit is fair enough. When you space your coconut acre with hundred fruits, each coconut fruit by the time they are fully mature, not even fully mature, they should give you minimum of hundred fruits. So if you have an acre that has hundred tree and it's giving you 100 fruits. It means you already have 10,000 fruits. Now, if you're selling coconut for 300 Naira, you're having 3 million. If you're selling for 200 Naira, you're having 2 million. And you know what that means? It means on an acre, successfully on an acre, by the time you nurture your coconut, you can harvest, you can make 2 million, 3 million per year. So now imagine if you have one acre, two acre, three acre, four acre. So these are the reasons you need to plant coconut. And the maintenance is low. The maintenance for coconut is extremely low compared to tomato, pepper, and all these things. The maintenance is extremely low. Because the maintenance is low, you don't really need, you don't really need to be there 24 hours. You don't need a 24 hours farm manager to be there. You just need to keep the weed away and maintain it. And then you get your good result. It's a very, and not the funny thing, the most, the most, the good news about coconut is that imagine you plant something, you nurture it for four years, and then you start harvesting for the next 50 years. How old are you now? For the next 50 years. It means you create something for yourself and you create for your next generation. So this is really very good. Like I said, I keep not saying it. Whether you are self-employed, whether you are working in the government sectors, wherever you are, you need this. Because with this, you can have, you can have rest of mind that, oh, uh, if even if anything happened in my other jobs, I can go fall back to this. If anything happened in this place, I can fall back to this. So this is what you need. The coconut shell, it's used in making bags, it's used in making uh, it's ropes, it's used in making cocoa pits, which we import. People that are using greenhouses, they use cocoa pits, and so many value additions to coconut that we need. And so for my cluster, our cluster mandates every member to plant minimum of 10 coconut seedlings every year. You see, we look at it that everybody cannot afford to buy one acre at once, or you cannot afford to start planting one acre at once because you need to plant hybrid. You need to plant the ones that will fruit in three years, not the one that will stay 10 years or six years before they start fruiting. So we say, okay, start with 10. Some people already start with 100. Some people already start with 20. Some people already start with 50. Start with minimum of 10 so that every year, if you have capacity to do more, you had, but if you don't have, so you leave it at that 10, 10. So every year you add 10, 10 coconuts. If you can't, 20, 20 coconuts. And so it means you are building a future, 
not only for yourself, for the future generations, because you harvest for long. And that's the minimum requirement for. So if you are joining our group, you have to buy 10 minimum of 10 coconuts. And coconut seedling presently is 2005, but price is soon going up because of production challenges and demands and so many other things. So please, it's better you go now and get your own coconut so that you can take part in this our coconut arrangement. Okay, so 